Hello YouTube makeup lovers, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to be launch makeup, I really hope that you guys stick around and subscribe for more videos. Happy New Year, I wish you all the best in 2021. This is my first video of 2021. I am actually filming it in 2021 already. I wish you all the best this new year that we're all very happy to see a new year. And we just hope and pray that 2021 is just a little bit better, just more positive, and hopefully that good things are coming our way. I'm here today with one of my favorite videos of the year. It is my year and favorites. Every year I have been doing this already for many, many years. Like I'll do like the top 18 of 2018, top 19 of 2019, so on and so forth. And now we are in the top 20 of 2020. This video is gonna be a little bit different than the last ones that I've done in the past few years because the majority of the products in my top 20 are really not beauty related. But it's just been such a strange year, 2020, that there are just so many new things that I gravitated towards since we were in quarantine. It was just a strange year. So everything just kind of changes in the way that you shop, in the things that you need. And I just have a bunch of different products. There's makeup, there's electronics, there's cooking stuff, there's clothes. There's just a little bit of everything. But this I video is a little bit late. I usually like to post it about the first week of the year, if not on January 1st. But I did not have the chance to do that this year. We had some craziness going on towards the end of the year. And thankfully, I was able to sit down today. It is like January 10th when I am filming this. I'm better late than never. Here we are with my top 20 products of 2020. First, I do want to get started with the beauty item and the first few items in my top 20 list are beauty related. The first few are from two brands that have really stuck with me in 2020. They're pretty much like the brands that I have been gravitating towards and I have been very, you know, I'm watchful of any new releases of products that they have because I love to try them, I love them and I think they're really nice high-end brands and those are the Charlotte Tilbury and Natasha Denona brands. I love them. There are different products in those brands that I love, but I'm finding that in my go-to makeup bag, a huge number of products are from those two brands. I do wanna start off with my first favorite product of 2020, and it is from the brand Charlotte Tilbury. And these are the Charlotte Tilbury eyeliners. I think her eyeliners have become my favorite eyeliners of all. And these are called the Rock and Coal Eyeliners. I absolutely love these. They are amazing. A lot of people, I have read in reviews that a lot of people feel that they kind of smudge a little bit too much. I don't have oily lids. I don't really have oily skin. I actually go more towards dry. For me, they are amazing. I love the black one, which is called Bedroom Black. And they do also have a brown that's really nice called Barbarella Brown. And then she just has other eyeliners like the Pillow Talk color which is kind of like that reddish brown type they color just the smoothest most buttery eyeliners for me they don't budge my second product is also from charlotte tilbury and this is a product that was also in my favorites in 2019 and i feel like this is my most worn makeup product ever it is like the product that i always use whenever i do my makeup whether i do my makeup for something very natural whether it is that i have to go to work or whether it is that i have to go out at night and go like on a super glam look i am always wearing this product and that is the eyes to mesmerize in the shade marie antoinette it is one of these cream shadows and she has a bunch, they're beautiful, but the favorite item, in this case, it is this specific color, the Marie Antoinette. And I actually kind of freaked out a little bit because I went to go buy a refill and they didn't have them anymore. I believe that they switched the names and now the Marie Antoinette is called the Oyster Pearl because I did go ahead and buy a new one and it is this one. I haven't even touched it, but I'm pretty sure that the Marie Antoinette that I love is now called Oyster Pearl. So I'm hoping, I haven't used it yet, but I'm hoping that nothing has changed with the color and the formula. I just feel that it is a cream shadow that you can pretty much wear with any look and you can actually pile on top any powder eyeshadow in like the neutral type of color because it just works with so many colors. It's a little bit more taupey, which is more my thing. I'm more into the taupes now than like really the golds or the rose golds and I just love it, but I have worn it under a gold shadow and it just looks beautiful. It also looks like if you applied like five different eyeshadows and it really is just this base. I mean, this is just, I have to say like 
the best cream eyeshadow ever made, in my opinion. Third favorite product of 2020 is from the brand Natasha Denona. As I mentioned, that is another brand that I have loved. And for Natasha Denona, my go-to products for her are the eyeshadows. I gravitate towards Natasha Denona palettes so much. I know they are pricey, but I feel like they are so worth the price. The gold eyeshadow palette, the Biba palette, those are favorites of mine. I actually just got the Glam palette as well that just launched toward the end of the year and I love it. But for my favorites, I have to say that my go-to favorite Natasha Denona palette is the Mini Glam palette. These mini palettes have been amazing in 2020 for me. These are the ones that I have been using a lot. I also really like the Mini Nude palette, but I would say that the one I use the most is the Mini Glam palette. Palette. I think they're so a great price point. I believe they're about $25. You get five eyeshadows. Yes, it's small, but it is a lot of product in there, and I just really, really love them. So Next is my most worn foundation of 2020. It's a year for me when it came to skincare. I think because of the masks, that whole mask me was like my nightmare, you know, in skincare of 2020. So I always try to use foundations that were very very light so my foundation that was most used last year was a very light foundation and that is the dior this is the dior backstage foundation this is a foundation that you can use on your face and on your body i use shade 1.5 and this is a foundation i've already just bought a new one but this is the one that i use the most even though of course my number one favorite is my la mer foundation but this one was just so nice and thin, it evened out the face. If you wanted to layer it a little bit more, you could layer it a little bit. It's not the most coverage. You can probably get from a light to a medium coverage, but I just felt like my face can breathe under the mask. It was just so nice, so breathable. It looked really, really natural. Number five product, I have a highlighter. This is like my go-to va 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 voom glam highlighter. I did buy new highlighters in 2020, but none of them can beat out this one, and that is the Persona Cali glow highlighter in the shade Zuma. This is the most beautiful highlighter for my skin tone. It is my favorite. It is actually the one that I am wearing today. It is like a va 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 voom glam highlight. This is not one that I wear when I want to go natural or like during the day, but it is one that I want to wear when I want to look nice and glam. I think the color is beautiful. It's not too yellow, not too pink. It's like a nice little beige tone. It's so soft and buttery and I absolutely love it. I love Sona. I've been following her for many, many years and I love her brand Persona. I also love her original identity palette. That is one. I actually just got a new one. That is another palette that I actually have always loved. I believe it was one of my yearly favorites, maybe last year or the, even the year before. It's been around for a while. That's really my second one. Um, that's with the new packaging, but I love it. But definitely this year, I had another Persona product on my top 20, and that is the Zuma Highlight. So my number six product is a skincare product. This is pretty much the only skincare product that I have in my top 20 list. This past year was horrible for me when it came to skincare. It was just out of whack. I had a rash over here. I would get breakouts done here, mainly I believe from the mask, but I don't know if it was a combination of the products I was doing or the mask. I didn't know what to do. I had to go to dermatologist maybe like three or four times last year just because I did not know what to do. So I pretty much discontinued use of all my products. I used no serums. I, started, I stopped my vitamin C. I stopped my retinol. I just stopped everything because I didn't know what else to do and that basically helped me. I used a face wash, my go-to face wash and a, just a very basic moisturizer and that is how I cleared up my skin and of course Tripsil Dermatologist, I did get some medicine for like the rash and things like that but there was one product that I feel helped me out a lot. From the first use, I noticed how my skin reacted really well to it. It just felt more bright. It felt like it was getting cleared up and I just really, really like to use it once or twice, twice a week. And that is all I am using that is not face wash and moisturizer. So I really simplified my routine. It's very popular and it is the Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Extra Strength Daily Peel. I put this on at night and the next morning when I wake, woke up, I did feel radiant. I felt like it kept my skin, you know, just looking good, looking bright, looking vibrant. I felt like it even helped with the clearing up. It didn't bring anything back that was causing anything. I was like scared to use it the very first time I use it. I don't have oily skin 
but this is supposed to just help you with the pores with the wrinkles basically like two face wipes so you have two steps you use the first one on this you put it all over your face the first step is the exfoliate and the smooth step and then the second step is the anti-aging neutralizer step. We just bought a brand new box from sephora this is like an exclusive one that has like five extra treatments and I really love it. So it's really simplified in my routine. It is what I'm currently using. I don't know when I'm gonna be able to get back to use all my other products, but for now, I'm just gonna stick with this until I am fully clear and then I'll start incorporating things back into my routine. My number seven and eight favorite of 2020 are definitely my most worn handbags of the year. I have two, I had my eye on them already for a long time, for years, and I actually bought them in the past summer, so I haven't had them all year. I did buy them during the pandemic. I'm gonna show you three, but really my next favorite product of 2020 is the Sun Rev. This is the Mini Maestra bag. I absolutely love this handbag. I have been using it so much, and the reason I mentioned that there's another one I wanna show you is because I also have the Midi Maestra, which is this one. It's a little bit bigger. I feel like this is the one that is definitely in my top 20. This is my favorite, but I did want to show you both of them. I actually did a video of like my favorite mini handbag, so I do talk a little bit more about this bag and then the next one that is my favorite. So I'm going to link that video down below in case you want more details. I show you how much fits in it and everything. But I just love them. I think they're just so comfortable. I've literally been switching between this one, this one, and the next one that, that I'm gonna show you guys. This is my go-to. Also, this cognac color is amazing. This is the pebbled leather. It fits so much. It is so versatile. You can use it as a crossbody, as a shoulder bag, as a backpack. You just cannot go wrong. And then just, this is like the color of mine of 2020. If I had to include a color in my top 20 list, it would be this cognac type of brown color. I've never had anything in this color, not clothes, not handbags, nothing. And this is a year that I bought like a pair of boots in this color. I got this purse in this color. And I just think it is such a beautiful color, but this bag is just amazing. The next most worn bag of 2020 is my nano luggage bag from the brand Celine. This, I love it. This is in the drummed leather. It is a very durable bag. This is not a new style at all. This bag has been around for ages, but I feel like it's still a classic bag that you just cannot go wrong with. It has a strap. You can wear it also as a shoulder bag or as a crossbody. I tend to wear it as a crossbody. I feel like my only con is that you cannot adjust the strap, so I probably would only wear this bag as a crossbody, which just happens to be my favorite, but I love it. It's small. I feel like the Mini Maestro fits a little bit more than this one. Probably fits the same. It's just more comfortable to reach for your things inside the bag. I also discussed this one in the video that I'm gonna link to down below of my favorite mini bag. My ninth favorite product of 2020 is actually an accessory. I would have to say this is my most worn accessory of 2020. I am gonna show you my top three favorites of the brand, but it is the Key Australia sunglasses brand. That brand has been like all that I have worn on my eyes throughout 2020. I'm gonna share with you guys some of the models that I love the most, probably my top three. I am also gonna link down below. I did a Key Australia sunglasses collection video, so I will share that below. But the ones that I love the most are the all-in. This is the all-in in the regular size. This is a bigger size. They actually already have one that is like a little bit smaller. But this is probably like the one that made me even fall in love more with the brand. Then I love their mirrored lenses sunglasses. This is my favorite. This is the all-in in the rose, which, no, I'm sorry. This is the big love in the rose color. It's like rose gold mirrored lenses with rose gold. I don't know if they still have this rose gold one, but I love it. And then the last one is the Sweet Dreams, which I love it in their turtle shell the most. It's like a grayish type of turtle shell, which is amazing. So I'm gonna go ahead and list the names down below and the color. I think this is like smoke color, but the brand is amazing. I love it. It's all I wear on my eyes lately. And you can always get really great deals. They have amazing deals. I don't think I've ever bought one of these key sunglasses at full price, but they're just really good quality. They come up with all the most stylish sunglasses. I also love the aviators. I think it's like the high key, the mirrored lenses I love. They just have so many different options. So if you have never tried these sunglasses, I highly recommend them. 
favorite product are these face masks from the brand Kitsch. This is also something that I feel that has also helped out in my face getting so much better. These are 100% cotton and these are pretty much the go-to face masks that I have been using. If I go out, what I tend to do is I use the cotton face mask first and then I'll put like the disposable paper face mask on top. The cloth masks I feel like have really helped out my skin because those disposable masks destroyed me. And these are just really, really cute. You can get them in different this one you really can't see that much in the camera, but it's like white with little black dots. This one is like a, a tie-dye one. They have like um, leopard ones, plain black ones. This one is like a, it's, it's like a grayish one with like little flowers. Just, they have a bunch on the website. They also have a lot of bundles. A lot of them come in packages of three, but you can get bundles that you get them like all for like a really great price. You get really nice discounts. So this definitely saved my life and I have been using these a lot. So these are pretty much the face masks that I'm using now all the time. And I feel like this has also helped my skin get so my much better. My next favorite product is from the brand Apple and these are the Apple AirPods. I'm absolutely obsessed with these and I feel that since we've been home so much, whenever I'm talking on the phone, I feel like I always have to have these. It has gone to the point where I'm like, I hate having the phone on my face. It's actually probably better not to have the phone on your face. Um, and I've just been loving the AirPods. I cannot live without them. A good friend of mine gave them to me. I've already had them for a while, way over a year, but I feel like now it has become a staple, something that I need. It's just like a basic product, like having a cell phone is having the AirPods. I don't know what I would do. You don't even know that you have them on. Honestly, like one day I actually went in the shower with them. I forgot I had them on. They got wet, but they survived. Um, and I still have these. She also got me this cute little case from Amazon in the mint green. But these are the best product ever. These aren't even like, I don't know what number these are. These are not the newest ones. It's like, I think the previous one before that. I might've gotten them in the beginning, I got them I think in April of 2019. She got them for me on my birthday. So I love them. If you have not tried the, the AirPods, you are missing out. It is like something that I need in my life at all times. And whenever my phone rings, I'm like, wait, I need to put on my earphones. And these are just the best. So I had to include this in my top 20 of this year because they're amazing. And then working from home and just being home all the time, you can like literally leave your phone in one spot and walk around and do things as you go. So it's a great for multitasking when you're home. The next few favorites are clothing items. I have done a lot of online shopping on Amazon throughout the quarantine and I have found some amazing gems. This for example is a sweater that I also got on Amazon. It's kind of like a little leopard vibe. I actually got this from Shay Whitney on YouTube. She recommended the sweater and she actually recommended it. My next few favorites, which I love and they have been amazing and I have bought them in so many different colors already, but I did wanna share with you guys my next favorite. This is my number 12 and they are Amazon shirts and tank tops. And the shirt that I have loved so much is this one right here. I don't know if you can see it, I will back up, but it's kind of like a nice little loose type of shirt. It's long sleeve. They also have it short sleeve and I believe tank top, but I tend to like the long sleeve one. You can tie it in the front. It has like a little tie. So you tie it in the front and then the back is a little bit long, but it has just been such a nice comfy shirt like to wear with like leggings. I also have it in this color right here. It is the same one. And I also have it like in a green, but this is probably like my most worn top that I have worn in 2020. Like anytime I go out, I wanna use one of these. I'm gonna go ahead and put the link down below. It is from the brand iWollens, but they have it in all these different colors. And it is just such a soft and comfy. I feel like this has been the year, 2020 was a year of comfort. Loungewear has been in, everything has been in, and everything has just been nice and comfortable. I wanna mention their basic tank tops which are these right here. And these I buy the size large and these shirts I also get large. Sometimes in Amazon I feel like with tops I'll go between a medium and a large, like this sweater is a medium. because I don't like things to be so, so huge but it is already a little bit baggy so when it's too oversized 
I like to go medium. When it's something a little bit more fitted, like a tank top, or even this one, I probably could have gone medium as well, but I did look like this shirt a little bit more baggy. But their basic, their basic Amazon essential tank tops are also amazing. And I have bought them in all these cute little colors. They have them in striped. The nude is amazing. And then the black is amazing. The black one, I wanted to get more. They have been like sold out for months. I bought some like, I don't know, three months ago and it still hasn't shipped. So I keep on approving that it's okay for me to wait. I'll just wait till whenever I get them. But they are nice and soft tank tops. But Amazon is amazing for my number 13 i have leggings i feel like the best brand of leggings at the best price is the brand hue i love hue leggings those i have been wearing for years but i feel like this is a past year where you just really wear leggings all the time and i mean more like denim leggings i feel like the hue denim leggings have made me like not really wear regular jeans in such a long time it's kind of like my go-to type of jean you can get their leggings in Macy's, Nordstrom, you can also get them on Amazon as well. And they're just like pull up type of pants like this. I don't know, they're nice and tight. These are just like the most comfy type of jean leggings. They actually have pockets in the back so it looks like you're actually wearing jeans but you're not. They're nice and soft and comfy. They have them in so many different styles. They have them cropped, not cropped, skinny. They have them with, I'm gonna show you a couple of them. These are really the ones that I wear the most, like the dark type of denim. They have them in the lighter denim as well. But I like the ones that have the pockets because I like it to look like jeans. I also have these that have like a stripe on the side and they're like a little bit more distressed, but it looks like they're like jeans, but they're like super, super soft. In these, I usually get a large, but when they're a little bit softer, I get the medium, like in these, this material is um is very softy and stretchy. So with these, I go with the medium. The ones that are a little bit more thicker, less like soft and cottony, I go with the large. And they're still like nice and tight. Look, you can also get them in gray. Um, the craziest pair that I just bought were these like these like blue striped these are also huge recent ones and these I actually got on Amazon so I feel like I got these on Amazon I'll go ahead and link um, some of these down below these are like distressed you know they have like the holes here and um, and it just looks really really cool it even has also has the pockets in the back and this one it also has like the little distress some of them go a little bit up high-waisted some of them are more like a little bit lower like under the belly button these are my go-to jean leggings i should say it's like not my go-to legging like not loungewear but these i like to go when i go out like if i'm gonna go out and i want to get dressed up i'll wear like the darker ones with a really nice top um even when i go casual i also have some really light distressed ones that are very like you know for during the day some of them are a little bit more loose you can just do so many things with them so don't let the word leggings fool you into it's like a loungy and you're gonna look like you know you're kind of like not done up or that you look like you're like in your pajamas at all you look like you're wearing the nicest pair of jeans and that you're gonna go out you're gonna go to a restaurant you're gonna go to a bar you can just get so many different options of these leggings and it looks like you are dressed in the most expensive jeans ever and it gives you a nice little figure it squishes everything in that you want squished in and it just looks really really nice for my number 14 i have my most worn shoe of 2020 and these are from the brand kohan i love this brand but i love their oxford style shoes they are the best these are already a little bit more disheveled just because i have been wearing these already for a really long time these are like nice little beige colors they have like the gold flap and the gold stripe in the back. But Kohan to me is a brand of shoes that are extremely comfortable. They are not cheap, but you can definitely get them for a really good price. They're always on sale. They have them on Macy's, Nordstrom. You can even go to the Kohan outlet. They have a ton of these type of Oxford shoes. I also have them in this color. These are the zero grand tile style shoe. They are the best, you guys. They're so comfortable. You gotta treat your feet right. You're walking on them all day long. And you know, you just have to, I, I like to invest in good shoes just because they don't have to be like, and I don't mean good shoes like, 
like Christian Lebuton or like Louis Vuitton shoes or anything like that but in shoes that are gonna be good for your feet, like sneakers, I'm so picky with sneakers, I like my good Nike sneakers that give me the support that I need. And these are just comfy shoes, I could walk around in them all day. They're not shoes that I would wear like on vacation to like Disney World when I'm walking around all day. If I do that, I'll take like a pair of sneakers, like Nike sneakers. But these are just cute, they look fashionable, they come in a bunch of different different um, fabrics, they have them in suede, they have them in leather, and you just look like you're a little bit dressed up, you know, you look like your feet are nice and comfy, you can walk around in them all day, but you don't look disheveled, it's not like you're wearing like sneakers, like I'll wear these to go like to a casual lunch or something like that, and I just think that they look really, really cute. So the next product is a little bit strange for me to have in my top 20, I don't think I've ever, or maybe I have, I'm sure I've mentioned it once, but I don't think I've ever, included a feminine product in my yearly favorites but I did want to mention this one because it has really changed my life and these are organic pads so I stopped using always I stopped using any type of product any type of feminine product like pads or tampons that were not organic these are a hundred percent hypoallergenic cotton and these are my go-to pads I get these at Target they are the best pads they are breathable they don't irritate you they're amazing and they have them in all these different sizes different um some of them have wings some of them don't they're thicker thinner i tend to go for more the ultra thin ones that you really you they're just nice and comfortable this is just like the long overnight ones i love them they have wings actually even cheaper than regular pads from like always brand that you buy like at the drugstore so like, check them out at target highly recommend they're gonna change your life super comfortable my 16th favorite product definitely has to be my new bathroom organizers from Amazon I have loved those I have organized all my bathrooms in my house with those they're these amazing drawers they're like stainless steel it just makes everything so nice and neat during the quarantine I have organized so much from my pantry, my parents' pantry, bathrooms, everything. And I think that those were definitely the standout storage items that I found in 2020, which are my bathroom organizers from Amazon, which I will go ahead and link them down below so you guys can check them out. I cannot even believe that this next item made it into my 2020s because I feel like I'm doing a video like in the 90s, you know, but basically scrunchies came back into my life in 2020. It is all I wear on my hair. I have all these colors. This is from Amazon.com as well. I even bought this base to put the scrunchies. These are velvet scrunchies these are the best it is all I wear in my hair I feel like now the bands that I wear in my hair just cause a lot more damage you know those elastics whereas this I feel definitely protects your hair much more really I do it more for just taking good care of my hair not because I think it's fashionable or anything like that you can get them in all these colors for a very inexpensive price. This is just like one set. I think like all this, not including the base, was about like $14 or $15. But I like them. They're cute. They're velvet. They tie around. I usually tie them around two or three times. It holds my hair up nice and tight when it's in a ponytail. And I highly, highly recommend them. And they're just really good quality. But like I said, they're really good for your hair. So that's all I have worn on my hair whenever it is not down. I am probably wearing it in a ponytail with one of these scrunchies. My 18th favorite product of 2020 is definitely this decorative item. I don't know how to explain it, if it's like my favorite flower of 2020 or what I used to decorate the most in 2020. But I did want to put this in my favorites because I have bought so many of them. I have been obsessed with decorating the house with them and these are peonies. These are not real peonies. These are you know fake flowers that I got at Michael's and I just think that they're so amazing I lowered the light a little bit so you can actually see them but I follow so many people on Instagram that always like to decorate with peonies and they really inspired me to decorate with them as well and it was just hard to find some that looked real and that looked really good and I found these at Michael's they look amazing um, you buy the long stem and I just like cut them up sometimes you can buy them individually I feel like they come a little bit too expensive when they're individually but you can get a set of 12 
and then that is just like a better price if you get the set of 12. Um, they have them in a bunch of different colors. I'm going to go ahead and link them down below because it is a particular line of a particular brand because they even feel a little bit different. They don't feel like plasticky or they don't feel like cloth. It actually feels like a real flower and I love it. I know I always see, I always follow her on Instagram. And I love how she decorates her home. Randy Garrett is always showing how she does her peony, you know, her peony arrangements and they're just so beautiful and she was really the one who inspired me to check out the peonies. And when I got these uh, at michaels.com, I was obsessed and I have them all over the house. I probably have like three or four sets, like arrangements that I made. This one I made as well and I just love it. So it's like my go-to decorative piece of 2020. My 19th favorite product of 2020 is a cooking item that I use so much. It is my new wave pressure cooker. This is the first year that I ever try a pressure cooker. I have made so many home cooked meals with that, like meals that my grandma used to make and the whole family will come together and we would eat like homemade food items that I never thought I would ever make. I was able to make in the pressure cooker. I had so many Latin recipes that my grandma did that I didn't even know how to make. And the pressure cooker just does them in about, in so fast, less than an hour, you can have a full cooked meal of just delicious, delicious food. So I did a lot of cooking during the quarantine. Whenever my family would come over, I would make different meals in the pressure cooker. It was just like testing it out and trying to learn how to do it. And I think since like the first one, everything just turned out so good. Um, and I love it. So definitely my pressure cooker is definitely deserving of a spot on my top 20 list. So finally we have reached the number 20 spot on my top 20 of 2020 and number 20 I had to give it to Netflix. Netflix has been I think a lifesaver for me and many many people in 2020. I wanted to share with you guys my top three shows that I watched in 2020. I know Netflix has been around for many many years but I think that like me everybody has watch Netflix in 2020. It has been like a savior. You watch the most amazing shows on Netflix and I thought I would just give it a spot and the last but not least spot of my list because it has been amazing. My top three shows for the past year were number one, Outlander. I did not know Outlander at all. I didn't even know that it was based on a series of books. It is an amazing show. It's already going on to its sixth season. So it's been around for many, many years and I did not know about it. But when it goes to Netflix, you know, whenever something goes to Netflix, then you, you hear about it. And they only have three of them, three seasons on Netflix. I had to watch seasons four and five on Amazon Prime. I did like the stars trial and I binged those two, series, those two seasons in like 10 days. Um, Amazing show. Jamie Frazier is like the most beautiful man in the world. He is like the best husband in the world as well. Not just because of him. It is just such a good show. I highly recommend it. I think it is like my number one show that I have watched in a long time. It was these shows that like you really like feel the emotion of the show. Things that would happen in the show affected me in ways that you would not even know. It's a strong show. Not for kids at all. Um, it's on stars, so it's like one of these shows that, you know, like HBO star shows are a little bit more, you know, like mature, TV mature, I think is the rating. It's not even like rated R, but I'm not sure about that, but I think it is because I feel like in Netflix it says like the TV MA sign. Such a unique, a unique storyline. The author, her name is Diana Gabaldon, and it's based on her books, which they've been out for so many years. I feel like the first Outlander book was written like in the late 90s. Um, and I'm just thinking like, I can't believe I didn't know about this until 2020. But highly recommend it. Very unusual show. You go like back in time and everything. So good. Check it out. Let me know in the comments below if you've seen it or what shows you guys loved in 2020. But that was definitely like a huge highlight for me. So good. My second favorite show. Cobra Kai was amazing. I watched the first two seasons um, last year and then I watched season three, which just released on New Year's Day. I grew up watching movies like The Karate Kid. It's like amazing how they, you know, do a shout out to the 80s. I mean, I was like a baby in the 80s. Such a good show. So if you're into it, I loved it. Cobra Kai, my number two. And then loved Never Have I Ever show by Mindy Kaling. I believe, I don't know if it's just her, but it's a Mindy Kaling show. It's comedy, it's drama, it's quick. Just like Cobra Kai, 30 minute episodes. 
Outlander is a little bit more like heavy. You know, I think that they're like about our episodes. So, you know, some episodes did drag. I feel like my favorite season of Outlander was season one. Then I loved season three. Um, other seasons in between, you know, I had ups and downs. But Cobra Kai, quick show, 30 minute episodes. You go one after the other. And never have I ever, I watched in one night. I think I started watching it, I don't know, late at night and I went to bed at 3 in the morning, finished so it. So that is pretty much it. I really hope that you guys enjoyed my top 20 from 2020. I wish you guys an amazing 2021. I hope this new year is filled with great health and happiness and only positive vibes. Let me know what other videos you guys would like me to do for you guys in 2021. I have a couple new videos already planned for you guys that are gonna be coming very, very soon. As always, I wanna say thank you so much for watching Be Lounge Makeup. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel before you go and I will talk to you very, very soon. Bye.